Upon logging in, you will receive this message from the Lotus. All hands, incoming for Morian. Lots of information about how it's basically going to destroy a relay, and the Fomorian Disruptor Blueprint. This, of course, is all to do with the Fomorian threat to the Lone... Lorunda? I always pronounce that wrong. Relay on Mercury. This has actually gone down really quickly, considering uh, this has been live for about half an hour or so. If you uh, don't want to do this, you don't really have to, but it is worth doing to save a relay so we still get Barrow. But more importantly, 200,000 credits and an Orokin Catalyst is not something that you would want to shake your head at anyway. That is actually a pretty useful thing to have. The Fomorian Blueprint, of course. Um, we're trying to remember exactly what it needs. Uh, I spelt it wrong. Needs the Omega Isotopes that drops on the planet that the relay that's being attacked is on. So in theory should be on Mercury. This blueprint, of course, is reusable. And as always, that item goes in your gear. So whatever you do, don't forget to actually go into your gear and equip these things. I don't need that anymore. So I'll just throw it in there if I can even... There it is. It will take one permission to do this. Since the new star chart, this gets me every time. Look at it. There's just a Fomorian floating out there. That looks amazing. And you can actually see it from the solar, the star chart, the solar system, whatever you want to call it. It's just sitting there. Oh, just off the planet to the point you can actually scroll in and there it is. You can actually just click on it, which is also a nice touch, or you can go to this. But what you are looking for is a decent team that knows what they are doing because you have to attack these things up top. It's actually not even good. There it is. You can see it, the little thing comes out. That's actually something you're supposed to avoid. I was right the first time. Avoid them things that create a loop around you. You're aiming for this thing. I was looking at the eye. It shoots a cover off. You have to then shoot this thing. I'm doing it for range, so I'm doing really small amounts of damage. That has just uh, dated the video. There you go. These things. Shoot the cover off. Give it a second until this thing comes out, then shoot this off once the legs come out like that. Weirdly, I've actually heard rumours that you can shoot the legs off individually and it will get rid of it quicker. After that, you want to go inside. Now, this is where I always get lost. <laughs> I can't help it. It used to be easy and I used to remember these things, but it's been so long. You come in here and you want to shoot off these nodes. There are lots of different ways of doing this, but... Shooting off the nodes is definitely the quicker way. I just can't get myself positioned correctly. You do want to wait until your team members are in here to increase the points, though. Because the way it works is you want to shoot off as many of these nodes as possible. So the more people you have in here, the more damage you can actually do. Oh, you didn't. You did. Actually shot the thing off. Keep... Easy tactics. Keep firing. Don't stop. Do not stop firing under any circumstances. Unless you run out of ammo, then you can stop shooting. Or that happens, and you end up with a ton of enemies that just get in your way and stop you from actually dealing damage. This might not be enough. I need to let this cool down for a second. Go back in. Nope, I don't know if that was enough or not. Once you've done that, basically run. Why my booster is not working? Once I get far enough away, it's not a problem. Excuse me, could you just... Hi. There we go. Distance reached on the left there. You just need to get 350 meters away from it. It makes no difference which direction you go for. The waypoint doesn't really matter that much. I wonder if that was enough or not. That was a, that was enough, and there was a, that actually worked out better than expected, considering it was started while the other two weren't even in there. Of course, after the mission, you will be sent a message with the money earned, which is two hundred thousand credits, and the Orokin Catalyst. Not a blueprint. You will notice it doesn't have a square around it, which is of course always handy. 
from this, of course, the parts for building the... <gasps> I've forgotten the name of the Imperator Vandal. I thought it began with a V, which was, of course, the weapon I was actually using there. And if we don't successfully do this, we will, of course, lose the LaRonda Relay, which means no more barrel visits on Mercury, which is one of the ones worth saving because it's one of the only ones open to everybody. This, of course, being the Imperator Vandal, never did get the receiver to drop for this, but have the three of the blueprints now and two of the barrels. Is a decent weapon. Actually, my favourite Arcwing weapon, but we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.